Sup, tamers? So today we're gonna talk about not the U Ultras, not the Mega Digimons, but the Ultimate ones. So we don't usually talk about the Ultimate Digimons because, of course, usually they're weaker than the Mega and Ultra Digimons. But right now I think there's a lot of Ultimate Digimons that are actually getting better. Some I think some of them are even useful in Battle Park. Some are useful in Underworld and even Clash Battle. So I think there's a lot of um, change in the Ultimate lineup. So let's check them out one by one. Starting from Skull Greymon. Okay, that's not Skull Greymon. This one is Skull Greymon. So Skull Greymon is an Ultimate Digimon. And looking at the stats, this is with plugins, but it's not his special plugins. So I've just used a couple of plugins that are available for Tenacious. So going back to the stats. So stats wise, this is comparable to Ultra Digimons, not even Mega, Ultra. So let's look at the HP. HP is 9.5. Power is not that great, but. Skull Greymon is tenacious and is one of the tanky Digimons that you can get. So looking at the passive skill, there's death 40% additional and it's permanent. So no worries about the Pokalemon. Block rate 40% permanent as well. So no worries again with the Apokalemon. And main skill and sub skill also adds power uh, damage resist resistance and also tech. So it's quite adaptable. I use him sometimes for depending on which I'm facing in battle park sometimes I use the sub skill for tech damage resistance and sometimes main skill so it's it's quite good in terms of strategy as well so next would be <coughs> I don't think I have him here it's Sylphimon so Sylphimon uh, death is quite good because of how it reduces the um, cool time for deaf allies. So I'm just gonna check if I have one. Mm. Yeah, okay, there you go. So Sylphimon, this is Sylphimon. So allows a deaf ally to reduce cool time after using skill by 30% so it's not that great it's just 30% but let's just say for example a deaf ally or your deaf digimon uses a sub skill or main skill that has a cool time of 100 you're gonna have a 70 cool time instead so that's still quite fast might be usable in underworld if you don't have lucemon and even in deaf battle part deaf boost battle part so also I think in Clash Battle, since most of the damagers right now, there are a lot of death Digimons that are good at dealing damage. This might be um, one way to add your damage as well. So looking at the stats, it's not that great. It's really an ultimate Digimon. But with good plugins, de decent plugins, I think he can survive um, difficult battles. So just... A run through with the uh, main skill it's just for himself increase one tech by 40 percent and for the sub skill not really that much so what you're getting here is really the passive skill of reducing cool time by 30 percent next it's lady devimon so lady devimon has been useful in underworld and you can actually use this even in Battle Park if it's devoted. I'm not gonna risk using Lady Devimon when it's not devoted because the HP and defense is not that great. I doubt that she can survive for long battles in Battle Park. But if she can, it's a good deal because of the passive skill. It allows devoted ally to reduce cool time by 50% and she has evade so that's one factor that she can survive one attack. And another thing that's uh, the, the another thing that I like about Lady Devimon is the main skill. It increases all allies' tech by 
So I use her in Clash Battle and it really does boost Imperial Dramont Paladin mode. Uh, Imperial IPM's damage. So sometimes I can reach 300k for the main skill if it crits. And also there are a lot of Digimons that are tech right now. So she's a good addition to uh, Clash Battle lineup. Purely tech I would suggest. And for the sub skill, just uh, heal. So I think this is 80% if level 10, but 77% is good enough for me for now. And the uh, cool time is 99 seconds, but that gets in half usually. Depends on when you're gonna use it. So basically, that's it for Lady Devimon. Ideal for Underworld and Clash Battle. Next, I don't have this, but it's. Rapidmon. So let's look at Rapidmon in the summon. You can still get Rapidmon using tickets. Well, if you're lucky, I haven't been lucky enough to get Rapidmon. I really wish I could. So while it's loading, let's search this one. I have seven tickets, but not today. So let's search up Rapidmon. Okay, there you go. So Rapidmon allows you to reduce cool time after using a skill by 70% three times. So Hmm. So I think this is just for him. Though it might be good because it's still uh, additional attack. I'm not sure if this is for all allies. Calm, it doesn't say so. I'm assuming it's just for him. Let me know in the comments if you use Rapidmon. This might be cool, but yeah, 70% three times is quite a bit huge of a decrease in cool time if it's all come allies. So another good thing about Rapidmon is it has the highest decrease in tech damage resistance so far in the game. It's 50%, so it will allow you to deal more damage in clash battles and maybe even in battle park. So there's an increase for one own one for his own tech by 15% every time it uses. And it's also defensive. So it increased Calm Alice power damage resistance, increase his own tech 70%. So it, um, power damage resistance is quite uh, redundant. I'd still use Skull Greymon for the um, for the defensive buffs so mainly I am gonna use this for the tech damage resistance by 50% it's definitely gonna be useful to one or to finish off level 10 clash battles let me know if you guys already tried this one then next is Pale Dramon. not sure where Pale Dramon is is he here okay he's here so I already also have Pale Dramon Tenacious. This is an ultimate Digimon. You can still get him until, well, still 20 days. So good thing about Pale Dramon, the stats are good. Almost same with um, Skull Greymon. Quite high HP, death, and basically a defensive Digimon because it's Tenacious. Also for the passive skill, it allows allies to reduce damage by 60% when blocking. So the, the only problem there is when there are Digimons like Omegamon who ignores block. But aside from that, he's gonna be a good addition to your defensive Digimon lineup. So it's gonna be a mess if you have Skull Greymon, Pale Dramon, Creepymon. And which are with what other defensive Digimons are there? But I think if you have those Digimons, it's really gonna be a mess, kind of hard to kill. And yeah, however, this is only two turns. If you're gonna face a Pokemon, it's gonna be wiped out. The effect will be wiped out because of a Pokemon. So looking at the other skills, it's not that much. So mainly, you're gonna look for this with this passive skill. So useful in battle park, maybe not that much, especially with the current meta. However, in um, 
Underworld. He's a good uh, alternative if you don't have a um, Skull Greymon yet. So moving on to the other Digimons. So there are just a few special mention. I think we cover most of the special ultimate Digimons. There are other special Digimons that are Champion and Rookie, but we're not gonna cover them now. For the others, um, for the other Digimons that we can cover, just a special mention. They're they're really not that uh, usable in Battle Park, but maybe you can think of where else you can use them. Sometimes in Clash Battle. Really depending on on what stage are you and at the game. So sometimes you're a newbie, you don't know what to use, or maybe you can't have all megas because it's quite difficult to actually level them up. So there are good alternatives right now. So one is um, Aero Vidramon. So what's good about Aero Vidramon? So let's just look at um what what Digimon you can actually get him? I don't have it. Wow, I'm surprised. So basically the Digimon line is Vimon, Vidramon, then Aero Vidramon. So if you have that Digimon, it's brave. The good thing about this is that if you don't have any other Digimon that decreases death by 40%, then he's a good uh, alternative. You can use it in Clash Battle. And then next is this one I have Magna Angemon. Uh, let's just check. Ultimate, ultimate. There we go. So Magna Angemon devoted. Quite useful in Underworld if you don't have any or much healer. If you don't have Lady Devimon, Magna Angemon can be an alternative, but it's far from. Um, Lady Devimon still. Good thing about the uh, Magna Angemon is you can easily level 10. The skip, uh, you can easily level up to level 10 because of he's not rare. You can get him in any banner most of the time. Another uh, special mention is Lilamon. So this one is a Death Digimon. Mm, let's just check if I have uh... Okay, uh, this I think this is the one So there you go. So Lilamon the special thing about he uh, Lilamon is that it has the highest uh, increase in power for um, All allies so like Lady Devimon Lady Diamond is uh, increasing tech, but this one is increasing all allies' power. I'm not sure if you can actually increase this power by 60% or more if you leveled up the skill, but 60% is already high. And some nullifying effects for deaf allies is also good. Yeah, pretty much that's the effect. Oh, and you also increase defense by 10%. Not that much, but... Yeah, if you don't have any, this is a good Digimon. Next is Mamemon. So Mamemon is a tenacious Digimon. So what's good about him? Well, he acts like an alternative for... Uh, not this one. For High Andromon. I'm not sure if I have him. Yeah, but I think this is the Toy Agmon. Okay, there you go. So Toy Agmon, then go to Starmon, then gonna be a uh, Mama Montanacious. Good about him, you can use him to boost your defense, 60%. So this is usable in Underworld. And uh, sometimes even in, I can see people using this in um, Battle Park before. So it has high HP, 6,860. It's gonna be formidable in, it's a... Uh, tenacious boost if you don't have high Andromon. Next, and yeah, I think that's the last one. So basically, I've covered all the special Digimons and a few special mentions that are not really that special but can be usable at some point. 
So let me know what you guys think. Are are you using Ultimate Digimons? Let me know in the comments. And if not, are you planning to get all of this uh, special Ultimate Digimons? Uh, of course, Lady Devimon is gone, but maybe some other time. So we can still get Skullgreymon, Sylphimon, Rapidmon, and Paledramon. So let me know in the comments if you're using any of this. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.